Okay, so the Minolta SRT 101. Any of the SRTs I like. The 100 and the 200 are supposed to be one step down from the 101 and the 201. I think that the extra one model has the 101 and the 201, they have a uh, mirror lockup and a depth of field preview button. I never use any of that anyway, so frankly, none of that really matters to me. I want a shutter that works accurately and without batteries in any kind of weather, even if it's freezing cold out. I want a camera that's built like a tank that won't break, that's not plastic. The SRT 101, the 201, the 200, and the 100, they are all great, great cameras, and they're very much full functional workhorses. Like I said, Annie Leibovitz started with this camera, and she, it's not the camera that makes the photographer, it's the, the vision, it's the apparatus that holds the lens so that you can use your vision to make great photographs, and you can do that. The SRT is like a Pentax K1000 in simplicity, it doesn't take a motor drive, it's got one battery for only the meter, if it doesn't work, you can still shoot it without the meter, just guess the exposure, learn the Sunny 16 rule, you can easily set exposure for a film camera without a meter. And you can use meters in your phone if you have one of those apps. It's a great camera, I highly recommend the Minolta. Um, if you want a workhorse of a camera, very inexpensive. This one has a price tag, $14.99. 51.4 lens on it, it seems to be working well. Test it out. My other video will show you how to do that and what to look for. Thanks for being a part of my camera videos and I'll have more for you soon.